Hi, and welcome to a Penji video on a few interconnected things. And all of these interconnected things have to do with answering this question here. How do we express a Boolean test to see if two things are false? And if that's a little abstract for you, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And here is the video table of contents. First, we're going to review using AND in compound conditions because this here is going to be a compound condition. Two things are false. It means if it's going to be compound, there's going to be two things. And I want to first just make sure we remember how compound conditions work using AND. Then we're going to explore ways to try to write code that do this, that provide a Boolean test for two things being false. And then you might be surprised by what code does work versus what code doesn't work. So once we've run some code and run some experiments and seen what does and doesn't work, we're then going to look at truth tables that explain why certain things work and certain things don't work. And after we understand the reasoning behind the code that we have to write, we're going to then look at some syntax practice and some common pitfalls that students who first write this kind of code often make. Lastly, and kind of optionally, depending on your teacher, we're going to look at De Morgan's law, which is a logic rule that has to do with the truth tables and the things that we're going to see today. This is De Morgan's law, by the way, is something that is typically taught in math classes also when you start learning about logic. So, as promised, let's first start off with a short review of using AND in compound conditions. So, if you can remember, for an AND statement to be true, both of the conditions must be true. Right, so here's a program from Penji where we have our penguin tries to go down this column and wants to drop fish whenever there is a cube on the penguin's left and the penguin's right. And as long as is cube left is true, right, and there is a cube on the penguin's left, and as long as is cube right is also true, they are both true and the entire statement is true, right? So they both have to be true. And that's why this loop does what it does here, right? Here is the first time that one of the two conditions is false, right? So this is something we learned before. This is a compound expression because you have more than one thing. You have a is cube left, you have a is cube right connected by an and. You can also, of course, have a compound statement connected by an or. For most of this video, we're going to be focusing on compound statements with an and. What we want to try to do today, though, is look at how to negate that. So first, let's take a step back and think about something in real life and how and how you would say no to two different things in life. For instance, let's imagine it's Monday right now today and this upcoming Friday. You've got a test and you might say or think something like as long as it is not Friday and I do not know the rules, I will study. And everybody knows what you mean, right? The test hasn't happened yet. You don't know what you're doing. Those are, there are two things connected by an and, and as long as both are not true, you're going to study. We want to see how we can do that in computer programming. Right? How do we express that two things are false in a loop condition? This is kind of like a loop, right? As long as it's not Friday and I don't know the rules, I want to keep on doing something. So let's look at a specific programming problem and explore with some code that we're going to run. You know, one of the things you really want to get comfortable with is just writing code, experimenting with it, and seeing what happens when you run that code. And here is the map that we're going to look at. We want to put our penguin here. And as long as there is not a water and a rock, two different things, we want the penguin to waddle onwards, right? So we're going to try to say as long as there's not a rock on the right and not water on the left, we're going to have our penguin waddle onwards. So let's write a little code, see what happens. Code set A below. Let's try while not Penji that is rock right and not Penji is water left, we're going to waddle. All right? Seems pretty straightforward. Seems exactly like what we did with the English version and the studying. And why don't you just take a moment to think about whether or not you believe this is going to work. I'm going to give you a few seconds here and think about if this is going to be the correct code. Try to make a guess. 
Okay, let's see what happens when we run this code. Okay, so let me just explain what we're looking at here on the left. We've got the code on the right, and we're going to go step by step and see what happens. And we're going to look at this truth table. And we're going to think about Penji is rock right as A, Penji is water left as B. So then we can look at whether when A is false, is rock right is false? Is water left false? So A is false, B is false. We go down to this row here. Is rock right false? Is water left false? And our code would be not A and not B, right? It's just too many words for me to write out the whole thing here. So I'm just representing is rock right as, as A, is water left as B, and this condition here, not is rock right and not is water left as not A and not B. And as you can see, this works great. Um, it's true and we want our loop to be true at this point because we want to move onwards. Unfortunately, our loop is going to end in the next step. And the truth table is going to explain why. So let's look at it. We are now in this row here. Is rock right is true. Is water left is false. All right, so we're right here. A is true, B is false. So what is not true? Not true is false. And these are coming from on the left, right? So it's not A, we're, we're negating A, and we're negating B. So not true and not false gets simplified to false and true. And as we reviewed earlier, for an and statement to be true, both parts must be true. So this is going to become false. False and true is false. So the code on the right actually does not express what we want to express. We're trying to say, while there is no rock on the right and no water on the left, we're trying to say, hey, I want to keep on waddling until I'm here. Code set A does not work. And here's a kind of zoomed in look at the case that we just talked about without the abbreviations. Not rock right, false. Not water left, true. And of course, false and true is false. And the loop ends there. OK, so our first experiment did not work. So let's try a different experiment. Let's run code set B below. And what we're going to do is we're going to write while not, and there's going to be parentheses around is rock right and is water left. Right? So it's similar to the other code, except we're using parentheses with the and statement. And we're putting not outside the parentheses. Code set A might have surprised you that didn't work. It surprises many people. What do you think about code set B? In, and I just want to let you know there is a code set C. So code set B doesn't have to be the answer. Code set B may not work. It's not going to be the only version of code that we're going to experiment with. Take a few seconds and think about whether you believe this is going to work. Make a little prediction. And in a few seconds, I will move the slides onwards to see if you're right. OK, let's go through it step by step, just like last time. And just like last time, we have A, B. And I expanded it a little bit to try to simplify things. Is rock right is still A. Is water left is still B. And then we're going to look at what's inside the parentheses here, A and B, right? then we're going to look at not A and B. So in this case, for instance, we're right here. A is is rock right, false. Is water left, false. A and B is false, not false. All right, not A and B is true. So, so far, so good. And let's see what happens in the next step of the program, which did not work in our earlier version. Now, it's going to work in this case. And let's look at why. Is rock right is true? Is water left is false? A and B, true and false. True and false is what? It's false. But we're going to negate that, right? Because it's not A and B. So not false is true. It actually will work here. And as we step through the program into the next part, we're back in the same situation as that first cell there. And it's going to work. And then we go to the water situation, and it's going to be very similar to what happened with the rock. One of the conditions is false. One of the conditions is true. 
So false and true is false. And of course, we are negating that. We're notting that. So not false is true. And as you can see, again, we're back in that first situation. Now let's see what happens when we get to the end here. And it works perfectly. In this case, is rock right? True. Is water left? True. All right, so true and true is true. Not true is false, which is what we want. We want it to become false at the point at which the program should end. So code set B is the way that you negate two things in programming. And here's the truth table showing kind of all of this and focusing in on the points where not A and B and not A, not B differ. We have a compound condition and another compound condition, and they are not logically equivalent. And the middle two cases, when A is true, B is false, or vice versa, when, when A is false, B is true, these are the times where you end up with different situations because not A and B is true, not A and not B evaluates in the end to false. Right, so these are not logically equivalent. It comes as a surprise to many people, but when you want to say that you want to keep on doing something and you're trying to negate a compound situation, you're going to go with not A and B on the left side with the parentheses. So whenever you want to express a Boolean test that two things are false or true, you use this here. You write not parentheses, Boolean number one and Boolean number two, which we're representing as A and B, whatever they are, is rock left, etc. And this here is the most practical takeaway that you're going to need because you're going to need to sit down and you're going to need to write programs that do this. So let's practice that. And after we practice it a little bit and look at a syntax error or two, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with De Morgan's law, which is just an extension of the uh, of the logic. Okay, let's practice doing this. What I'd like you to do is to try to come up with the loop condition that we can use so that a penguin starts here, and as you can see in the animation down on the bottom there, we'll end up right here. What replaces these question marks? And I'll give you a second or two to think about what you would write, and then we'll go over the answer. And what do you think about this code? While not, Pam is penguin left and Pam is rock right. We want to stop when there is a penguin left and a rock right. And we want to put the not beforehand. But there actually is an error here. Maybe you've already identified it. If you run this code, it does not work. And take a second or two to try to find the error, which is that we forgot the parentheses. Remember, you need to have these parentheses here. Should be while not parentheses. A and B, and parentheses. And A is penguin left, B is rock right. It will work just perfectly, as you can see, with the program on the bottom there. OK, so let's go over a common gotcha. I would like to write a program that does what you're seeing animated up here. Can you identify the syntax error below? This is a very common syntax error when people first start trying to write these kind of statements. It's a syntax error. So it's something like a, a period is misplaced. We forgot a colon somewhere, a parenthesis, or something along those lines. Give you another few seconds, and we'll go over the answer. Now, if you run this code, you'll see an error in the logger. And I can't emphasize enough that the logger is your best friend. All right, if you run this code, you're going to see an error along these lines. Parser summary found one error, expected right parenthesis. All right, so that kind of gives it all away. If you ever see expected parenthesis, it means somewhere you started a parenthesis, but you didn't close it. All right, so we needed the, the problem was that we didn't have this final parenthesis. I'll go back to show you what it looked like before. Right there. There should be two closing parentheses here. You're going to need to remember that as you go through the upcoming exercises. So now you're armed with the information you need to go through the rest of the upcoming exercises. But we're going to look a little bit more in depth at another way to express the negation of two things, which is going to have to 
have us explore De Morgan's Law. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at code set C, which is going to say while not Penji is rock right or not Penji is water left, and see how that code does with the program we've been working with since the beginning. And as you can see at the bottom, the first step is going to evaluate the true. Is rock right? Is false? Is water left? Is false? And over here, not false or not false, which becomes true or true is true. So the penguin will move to the next cell. And I'd like you to take a moment or two to predict what is going to happen as the penguin goes through its journey. Will this be like code set A? If you remember, code set A stopped here right because the entire thing evaluated to false code set b went to the very end which is our goal let's think about it for a second there and now let's see what happens and it's going to become true is rock right is true is water left is false and not a or not b become ends up becoming true not true or not false becomes false or true which becomes true so like code set b this does work. Now the question is, will it continue to work as we go through the rest of the program? Remember, our goal is to end here. And just like in the first first time, we are back at a, uh, a true statement when there is nothing on either side. Now for the water, it's, again, it's like the rock situation. We have one false and one true statement, and it all evaluates to be true. So the penguin keeps going and the question is really the next step will it end at the next step so take a minute and think about whether or not our loop our total loop condition here not rock right or not water left whether that is going to become false which is what we want we want it to become false here and it does a and B are both true. Not true or not true is false or false, which is false. So code set C actually works. And here's a truth table on our last slide summarizing all of the different things we've talked about. We've talked about not parentheses A and B. We've talked about not A and B. And we know that not a not parentheses a and b is logically equivalent to not a or not b that's what this last code set c showed us not rock right or not water left was the same thing as not parentheses rock right and water left That's what this top expression shows you, and this is De Morgan's Law. When you have a not and a compound and statement, you negate A, not A, you negate B, but you also change and to or. And this also works the other way around, by the way. This again, this is De Morgan's Law, and this is not, you're not going to need to be able to use all these rules in the upcoming exercises. You're going to need to know that not parentheses a and b is how you you write the kind of loops we have to write but it's interesting to note that de morgan's law is the law that tells us that code set c not a or not b is the same as code set b not parentheses a and b and on the in the middle area here is another example of de morgan's law where not parentheses a or b is not a and not b and a final reminder that these two statements are different. They are logically different. Not A and not B is different logically from not parentheses A and B, which is what you're going to be using in the upcoming exercises. All right, well, good luck in these upcoming exercises.